Hey guys, it's Random Chaos with another video for you guys. Um, this video will be called uh, "What Do I Think of the uh, Chargers' this preseason opener against the um, Seattle Seahawks?" Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you. Yeah. Now I'm not too mad about it I'm just disappointed um, they Seahawks were just eating us up all game corners were junk linebackers were junk defensive line was the worst I've ever seen uh, so even the offense was bad there was nothing on offense at all um, so let me just go ahead and read off some of the stats. Um, for the quarterbacks, uh, Kellen Clemens got four out of ten completions. Uh, he had four completions for ten attempts, um, 100 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. Um, I've always said it. Please let go of Kellen Clemens. Uh, he's he's not needed. Sucks. Uh, he got lucky with that pass to uh, Travis Benjamin. So. Just, just fire him, man. Next is um, which a guy that I I feel like did rather well, um, is uh, the number six of Mike Berkovici. I think I'm saying it right, Berkovici or Berkovici. Um, he had four completions for six attempts, 68 yards, zero touchdowns, and zero interceptions. That to me is pretty solid. Um. So yeah, uh, Phillip Rivers played just the first quarter, or maybe the maybe the couple of minutes of the first quarter. He had uh, five completions for six attempts, 56 yards, and one touchdown. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, next would be uh, Cardell Jones. Uh, he and who I'm really really disappointed in, but I didn't really expect much out of him since we only acquired him like a week or two ago. So once he gets time during these next three games he'll possibly do better but he went uh two completions for nine attempts 50 yards zero and zero touchdowns and zero interceptions so that's the quarterbacks next will be running backs uh our running game was horrible the worst freaking game i've ever seen out of our running back corps uh as far as preseason uh it's really bad when you know that your quarterback your fourth or third string quarterback is has the most yards rushing, which was Cardell Jones with 18 yards and two uh, out of two attempts. Next would be next was Andre Williams with 18 yards and eight attempts. Uh, next was the 20s, uh, Kenneth Farrow with 15 yards and two attempts. Next was uh, Melvin Gordon with 14 yards and six attempts, which I think that's horrible. Um, next was Brandon Oliver with seven yards and three attempts. So Oliver did the worst by far. Um, so yeah, next is receivers. We all know Travis Benjamin got 89 yards, two receptions, and one touchdown. Of course, that touchdown by Kellen Clemens, or that pass by Kellen Clemens. Uh, next was uh, Deron Brown. He surprisingly did really, really well. Um, has really good hands. Remind me, he kind of reminds me of uh, um, of Dontrell Inman a little bit. Uh, he has 49 yards for one reception. Um, then it was M. Weiser. I don't know who the hell that is. He got 38 yards for one reception. Then it was S. I think Sean Colkin, tight end. He got 19 yards for two receptions. Then it was Hunter Henry with 17 yards and one reception. And then Jamal Jones, who I thought was going to actually do way better than he did. Um, he ended up getting 12 yards and one reception. Um, I don't know why they didn't use him a lot more than what they did. Uh, he... He has really good steady hands, so I feel like we should have used him a lot more than what we did this last past game. So, yeah, next was Antonio Gates with 10 yards, two receptions, and one touchdown. Of course, that touchdown coming from Phillip Rivers. And uh, next it, next is uh, some dude named, I don't even know his first name. I think it's something A. Eckler. He got eight yards, one reception. Next is Mitchell Page with four yards, one reception. Uh... Next is some of the notable players. Uh, Tony Palapoy got one sack. Isaac 
Isaac Rochelle got 0 0.5 sacks, as well as uh, Chris McCain. They both shared that sack. Um, uh, next was Desmond King, who I thought did the best out of any other defensive player uh, this game. He got one interception and one, worse, one forced fumble. So uh, that's really good. Uh, another guy that really, really um, impressed me was undrafted free agent uh, left outside linebacker or, in, or inside linebacker, whatever the hell he is. Uh, Nigel Harris, he ended up leading the team with six total tackles in that game. Um, to me, that's really, really good uh, for a rookie. And then one more thing I have to add to this. It's just really, really important. Um, probably the most important decision the Chargers have to make uh, before next week, uh, before this upcoming week's game is fire the shit out of Mike Davis. Number fucking 43. Fire his ass. He got burnt all damn fucking night. All night. Fire the dude. I mean, I'm not even going to spell it out for you. F-I-R-E. Fire. Fire the dude. There's no laid off. No, oh, we're going to put you on this type of fucking program. Hell no. Fire the dude. The dude is junk. He was hyped. He was so hyped during uh, freaking mini camp and training camp and all that crap. Hell no. Fire the dude. I would rather have our safety play at corner than this fucker. Okay. Now, oh, he got four tackles. Who gives a shit? He gave, like, two touchdowns away to that freaking Richardson guy. So fire the motherfucker, please. Other than that, other than that, man, I, I just got to say this this team sucked. It really did. Really disappointed on the outcome. Uh, I knew that the Seahawks were going to be hard to beat, but not this hard, man. Not this hard. Not like that. Our first team, they did really, really well, uh, especially Boza. He was just eating up their offense. Um, I'm not trying to like, kiss Bo's ass, but it's, it's, it's true. You know, we all saw it. He was going to their offensive line like nothing, but then again, we all know the Seahawks still have an offensive line. Um, so, yeah. This game sucked. On to the next. Stay classy.